So you want to be holding in this week's Torah portion? Of course you do. Here are your spark notes. Parashat Vayikra. We have made it. We're finally here. The Mishkan has been built, the parts have been handed out, and now we are ready to kick off the Book of Vayikra in style. Fun fact, the Book of Vayikra, the Book of Leviticus, is also known as Torah Kohanim, the Torah of the priests. And boy oh boy are we about to see why. Because while the building and the construction of the Mishkan is really a team effort, the pageantry that goes on there within is exclusively for the priests. And it is graphic. Like, this video is going to be reported by PETA graphic. But also, coincidentally, a lot of what we're going to talk about would be pretty good in a PETA. But I digress. In this parsha, we learn about the Korbanot, or the Korbanus. I got you, Ashkenazim. And despite what we might have in our heads, it's not all blood and guts. There's also fat. Stop. No, no, there's a lot more to it than that. So let's break down the five different offering types that we read about in the parsha. Aints, the Ola, or the going up offering. This is a bull offering that is fully consumed on the fire of the altar. Tzve, the Mincha offering, which comes in five different forms, but is made up of fine flour, olive oil, and everyone's favorite aromatic resin, frankincense. Dry, the Shlemim, or the peace offering. This is a meat offering that is also partially consumed by the one making the offering, as well as the priest who offers it on their behalf. This is the original monotheistic form of communal eating as a way of drawing close to God. In offshoot religions, this is known as communion. We're not, we're not going to get into that right now. We should, but we're not. Okay, back to it. Fear, the chatat, or the sin offering, also known as the I up offering. This offering is brought to atone for sins committed by the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, by the entire community, by the king, or just the normal old Jew. And finally, Finf, the Asham, the guilt offering, which in Judaism we offer all day every day for the entirety of our existence because without the guilt, we are nothing. Kidding aside, we could actually label this the CYTO, the Cover Your Tuchus offering. Not sure if you sinned? A sham offering. Accidentally eat something that was set aside for the Mishkan? A sham offering. Swear an oath that you're not sure you can uphold? A sham offering. Let someone not in your family use your Netflix login info? A sham offering. You get it. These five types of offerings make up the sacrificial system known as Avodat Korbanot, the service of the sacrifices. Today, since there is no Mishkan and since there is no temple, we replace Avodat Korbanot with Avodat Halev, the service of the heart, also known as prayer. But that is a story for another video. This video is about guts and glory. And in case you were worried, there's a lot more to come. That is Parashat Vayikra. That is our introduction to Sefer Vayikra, to the book of Vayikra. And these were your spark notes. The rest is commentary. Go and learn.